Welcome back to Alliance Tournament 17, where we have not one, but two extremely ECM-heavy comps going up against each other with Psychotic Tendencies versus Templus Calcif. Psychotic Tendencies has brought three Scorpions, a Damnation, two Deacons, three Spipples, and a Purifier, and Templus Calcif has responded by bringing... what exactly? Uh, I think this looks fairly similar to a comp they brought earlier with their armor bar, I guess, but this time they've brought two Hyperion instead, which I don't think we've seen before. Absolutely love that ship. It's beautiful. Um, they brought their armor bar, I guess, like I said, and Oneros, two Maguses, two Blackbirds, and two Skybreakers. So I'm imagining these Blackbirds are going to want to try and land the jams on the Scorpions here and prevent those Scorpions from jamming anything else. That's well, That would be my imagining of what the play is, play is here. Um, this is just a very unusual comp from Tissue to begin with. Three Scorpions. Have we ever seen anything like that? That's just, I mean, Widows, sure, but regular Scorpions? That's 57 yeah, points in ECM. It's it's 57-ish points in ECM. And uh, also, they they have Rapid Heavy Missile Launchers, but I'm not really sure how much damage they're going to be really putting out there. So, you know, the... The Tissue team is very light on DPS, but they are extremely heavy on jams. So weirdly enough, we are seeing a lot of TDs coming out from the Templus Calcif Skybreaker, which is kind of goofy. But uh, the teams are kind of just moving around and trying to figure out exactly how they want to play this. I think both sides were like, oh, crap, what do we do here? Yeah, so we can see from the fancy UI that there are jams attempted on all three Scorpions. And just for everyone, we don't know if those jams are successful. We just know it's an attempt. But clearly, they're not all successful because we also see jams going out the other way towards the Bargus, the Oneros and of course onto both the Blackbirds. So as an observer, it's pretty difficult for us to know exactly who is winning um, the ECM war, um, but there is definitely an ECM war being fought. We know that. Yeah, there's a, a massive amount of jams going out on both sides. I mean, you can see, so from what usually we can tell is that as that control bar maxes out, that means more jams are landing. Uh, so if you see that Tissues is totally maxed out, so they've got not necessarily saying all of their jams have landed, but most of them were the Templus Calcifs uh, not doing quite as well. As it kind of bounces back and forth, you'll be able to see, but very little damage is being applied whatsoever. I believe Tissue is probably waiting to get like the perfect jam session because, you know, they only have the three rapid heavies from the Scorpions. It's it's not a lot of damage. Yeah, they're going to need to time up their their clips with a perfect jam, you know, jamming on, on the Oneros maybe, and then they can volley through some Blackbirds, for example. Um, but if they just, you know, press F1 and fire all their missiles, they're going to run out of missiles at a really bad time. And it's just, it's a waste, you know, at this sort of level, you need to be making sure the whole team plays together, coordinating all the different parts of the comp. And that involves saving your missiles and waiting for your damage until you can actually accomplish something with it. Yeah, I, uh, I hate to use the word ramming when talking about a damnation because they're not that fast, but it does look like Blood of Gods was attempting to kind of ram in with his damnation and tackle. Uh, weirdly enough, this damnation actually has no guns on it, so it's probably the brickiest, tankiest ship of all time and uh, most likely some kind of super hard tackle. Not really sure what the deal is there, but there is these fipples of psychotic tendencies are starting to move forward a little bit. Um, maybe something's about to happen. Not sure. It's going to be difficult for them to burn in, though, because I can see two separate scram attempts coming off from this um, bar guest of the last Spartan, which I believe is their flagship as well. So, of course, he's got those officer or, you know, extremely abyssal scrams. And as we saw earlier, it's also most likely a double prom, double prop bar guest. So he's going to have Mike Rourke drive and at least two an afterburner, at least two scrams on there. So it's obviously if you're in a damnation trying to ram him, it's going to be pretty difficult. You need a sort of a committed effort from the whole team to ram him again. It's, it's about the whole team working together here if they do want to get on top of that bar guest. But then, of course, there's the Hyperions that parked up there as well. So you don't really want to get too close and risk one of those Hyperions not being jammed, and then suddenly he punches your face in. Yeah, and I, we're seeing a lot of drone DPS come out, which makes sense since drones are kind of the only thing that, like, you can jam drones out, but you're probably not going to waste your jams on drones. So uh, we are seeing the Hyperion actually take a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, hopefully for Templus or uh yeah hopefully for Templus sake they have a lot of self rep on that but it seems like it's going down really fast actually. yeah i mean they, the way that they've committed this kill would suggest to me that they were successful with the jam on the oneros and they've decided this is their time to pounce um these three scorpions clearly they've just been stacking jams and just waiting you know trying to get the right time and they are now volleying onto this hyperion with all these drones out as well but he's obviously got a local rep on that hyperion very very strong local rep ship so I mean, this jam cycle on the Oneros might end or might have ended already ended as the Hyperion is now repping back up. And in, yeah, in which case, they need to wait for another opening. 
the Aeneris is repping again. Uh, I can see the effect. I'm not sure if you can see it on the stream, but you know, their psychotic tendencies is trading their spiffles for this. Um, it does look like they kind of all end for a second. Like every single jam was on that Aeneris. Somehow it didn't get jammed and was able to save this Hyperion. But you know, those three spiffles was a significant amount of DPS on the psychotic tendency side. So losing two, potentially this third, is really not a good situation to be in. Yeah, this third one is going to go down, and yeah, like you said, these three scorpions and no gun damnation is not going to be the highest DPS comp in the world, to say the least. So yeah, those three spiffles, um, you can assume that they were going to be pretty significant portion of the DPS. Obviously, three auto cannon spiffles on top of you is not insignificant anyway, but um, yeah, like a pretty integral part of this comp. I mean, they've got the bomber as well, but he is taking some aggro. But at this point, tissue not looking good to be honest i mean these three scorpions it was a bit of a gamble obviously ecm in general not like i'm not saying ecm is pure rng you know there is skills using ecm comps but this kind of comp is so all in on ecm that it's going to live or die by that mechanic and at this at this point in time it doesn't look like it's working out well and we're about to see uh sort of the skill in ecm um, as they go for Opus, if the other two Scorpions swap and jam the DPS and Opus stops jamming, like if they do some really good weird cross jamming stuff, they can actually save him here. But like it's a Scorpion. It's a T1 battleship. It's got five low slots. Not particularly tanky, and uh, they might just lose him right here. And, you know, as that ECM goes down, you're basically dismantling the team here. Yeah, and for want of a better word, um, Tissue, after all their bleating about going 2-0, 3-0, 200 in the feeders they might actually be looking towards zero two day here after winning so well in the first weekend just being unceremoniously dumped out in the top 12 okay to be <laughs> fair being unceremoniously dumped out in the top 12 still dumps you out with like what eight at ships or oh yeah it's still a reasonable so, performance but i'm you know today i mean their comps have been just kind of weird i mean the triple scorp and before that we saw the triple armageddon with the you know the armageddon as a sort of mainline damage it with the rapid heavy missiles it's just it's it's weird yeah i this is this is extremely questionable i mean i will say that i think that their setups that they've run have been probably the most interesting setups that we've seen but usually there's a reason why you don't see interesting setups winning like look at this it's it's cool it's a great idea but uh they're just not applying any damage here and i don't i don't know what they can do at this point like maybe try and headshot a magus who knows at Templus has been very smart in their positioning here and keeping everything far away. I mean, to be fair, Templus are also probably like top three for interesting comps so far this tournament with that. What was it? The Drekovac comp they fielded on day one with two curses. Now this, they've got two Hyperions. They fielded some interesting stuff of their own. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. And you could tell that they kind of had prepared themselves too for uh, maybe, I wouldn't necessarily say they were prepared for an ECM setup, but if you look at bringing blackbirds and then also hyperions like you have ships that can tank really really well here and uh without having their logistics working and it does look like tissue is actually going after the logistics of templus but you know those jams are crazy and we're seeing both ivy lash and opus dropping at the same time um just the ecm as your ships go down the amount of ecm you can put out goes up by so much yeah i mean the only problem is Given that the ECM mechanic still lets people shoot you, you know, they can jam everyone, but they're still all going to die. They're, in terms of um, damage and health that's left on the field, they're still losing both those metrics pretty significantly. So unfortunately, this is going to be the end of the road for Tissue. Um, and it's just going to be Templar spending these remaining two minutes killing whatever they can, taking out their frustration on being in the loser bracket on Opus, on Hands, and on Dremod, and saying, bad Tissue, don't bring ECM, it's, it's naughty. Yeah, it's uh, always wild to see. Uh, it was good to see that this was not sort of one of those ECM versus ECM setups where nothing died for nine minutes and a half. You know, at least we got to see some spaceship explosions. But if you think about it, like ECM is always always interesting to watch. You know, from a current, I recognize that from a viewership perspective, it's a little like I don't get it. I don't like it. ECM bad. I think you need to put your batteries on charge as well, Bart, because you just went robot a little bit like Maud did earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, we are actually all sharing the same battery pack, but um, I'm I'm blaming uh, Teamspeak. We should be using Skype, the greatest of all. Voice no, I I devices. don't think so. I really don't think we should be using Skype. <laughs> if, we could use a, if you're using Teamspeak two instead of Teamspeak three, that that'd be the real way to do it. But uh, yeah, it's it's just mostly cleanup at this point. You know, Templus 
they're probably going to get at least the uh, scorpion done. That damnation, like, how do you think that thing was fit? Because I'm really curious about it. Um, it could be like a full newt damnation, like we saw. Um, they committed so heavily into newts last time with the triple armageddons. Maybe they thought, well, we can just park this damnation on someone. But I mean, it's a weird choice for that, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's it's unusual. Of course, missiles on the damnation obviously don't use any capacitor, so there's not really any you know, downside into fitting. Like you know, like even if you fit a full tank damnation, you can still get like you know three four hundred DPS out of a hand damnation. Um, and in a comp that's so low on damage, otherwise with three scorpions, it's, yeah, it's an unusual choice for sure. Okay, it did go down. I was a little worried there because it seemed like it was tanking. Um, I, I want to see what their choices were. Obviously, we won't have time to explore that as the match will be over in about 10 seconds. But uh, yeah, that was that was weird. That's just super weird. No Missile Damnation, three Scorpions, three Spitbulls. Not the best setup, but it was definitely interesting. And we love interesting here. And hopefully we see more in the last three matches as we go back to the studio.